All right. It is Friday, September 7, 2018 at 12.40 p.m. Let's take a look at the weather. We still have Olivia in the Pacific and a disturbance one after it. All right. Olivia. Hurricane Olivia is a Category 3 with maximum sustained winds of 100 knots or 150 miles per hour, minimum central pressure of 964 millibars, located 20.1 north and 132.5 west, movement west-northwest at 14 knots or 60 miles per hour. Disturbance 1 is, has a 60% chance of cyclonic formation in 48 hours, and formation chance of 5 days is a high at 90%. All right, let's take a look at the Atlantic. We have Gordon still going through the um, central states. He is at 10 miles per hour, maximum, I mean, minimum central pressure, 1,013 millibars, located 35.3 north and 92 west, movement north at 7 miles an hour. All right, Florence is now a tropical storm, downgraded. Maximum sustained winds of 55 knots or 65 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure of 996 millibars, located at 25.0 north and 51.8 west. Movement west at seven knots or eight miles per hour. Then we have disturbance one with 90% chance of cyclonic formation in 48 hours. Says satellite images indicate the circulation of a low pressure system located about 650 miles west of the Cabo Verde Islands is gradually becoming better defined. In addition, the associated showers and thunderstorms remain fairly concentrated near the center. The system is expected to become a tropical depression later today or tonight while it moves slowly westward across the tropic tropical Atlantic Ocean. Formation chance through 48 hours is high at 90% and formation chance through 5 days is high at 90%. Alright, we got to keep an eye on this one, our disturb on Disturbance 1. It might be headed towards the Caribbean islands. We do not know yet, but it is headed looking in that direction. It's headed in that direction. Okay, potential tropical cyclone 8 is also coming off the coast of Africa with maximum sustained winds of 30 knots or 35 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure of 1,004 millibars located 13.1 north and 17.8 west. Movement west at 9 knots or 10 miles an hour. Formation chance through 48 hours is high at 90% and formation chance through 5 days is high at 90%. Alright, then we have Norman which is off the coast of Hawaii, off the north and northeastern coast of Hawaii. Okay, central location is 23.0 north and 152.6 west. Maximum sustained winds of 75 miles an hour and movement northwest at 9 miles per hour. All right, this is Norman off the coast of Hawaii, headed north. It is moving away from the islands, which is awesome, and thankfully the Hawaiian Islands seem that they're going to be okay. Alright, this is Tropical Storm Florence. As you see here, um, she has downgraded a lot, looks weaker, but is still active. As you see here in the center, there's still some activity happening in the center of the storm. All right, then this is 92L, which is coming off the coast of Africa. And this is the one that we have to also keep an eye on because it seems to be traveling towards the Caribbean islands. Okay, here we see Nor um, Olivia off the Pacific coast headed towards the direction or the area of Hawaii, and then behind Olivia, you see another disturbance of storms off the coast of Mexico. Also, in the Midwest and the north, the north part of the Northeast, you see the jet stream is carrying all this moisture and rain. So that area has to be aware uh, of possibility of flooding because it's going to be so much rain happening through there. All right, let's take a look at the Atlantic wide. Off the coast of South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, off in the Atlantic, you see that 
all of this moisture and precipitation is building up. This gives me a, a sign of what could happen if Florence reaches that area. It could start getting stronger again and start building up as you see these storms flaring up there. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but we have to keep an eye on that and keep an eye on Florence here um, getting closer to these storms. All right, this is 92L down here and 92L seems to be moving towards the Caribbean and the Lesser Antilles a little bit uh, movement south in comparison to what Florence was doing. So we got to keep an eye um, on this area and um, we got to keep an eye on 92L as it reaches closer to the islands there. Also, off the coast of Africa, look at how much rain and precipitation is just... That whole area is just exploding with energy, as you see that. That is humongous storms. Alright, we got to keep an eye off the coast of Africa because it seems to be just a conveyor belt of, of just pushing off storms. And hurricane season is well on its way. Alright guys, please remember to get supplies, get water, get food, canned food if you can, get candles, make sure you're prepared and your family at least have a plan. Make sure you 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 have your pets uh, ready to go and have a plan for your pets. All right, guys, please stay safe this hurricane season. As you see, the season is very active. All right, guys, that's it for the video today. Hope you guys have a good one. God bless.